in this tutorial we will learn next set of commands first command is offset offset is useful to create parallel lines suppose i have one line here i want to create parallel line at some distance then give the offset command keyboard shortcut for offset is o enter click on offset then give the distance suppose i want offset at five distance enter then select the object to offset then give the side on which side you want the offset suppose i want offset on this side click on that side a parallel object will be created at a given distance offset command is still active you can again offset the object select the object to offset then give the direction you can also change the distance suppose i want it 10 enter in this way you can offset as many time as you want press enter to stop the command now this was single line if you have polyline polyline is basically a connected line it is the same as line command but when we create object with line those are separate object if we select the object individual object can be selected and when we create object with polyline those are connected object if you select the object complete object will be selected that is the difference between line and polyline and if we offset polyline complete object will get offset click on offset then give the distance enter then select the object give the side in this way you can offset polyline also in the case of polyline all object will get offset press enter then if you offset the circle then it will create concentric circles suppose i have this circle again offset give the distance enter select the circle if you click outside the radius of circle will be increased by the offset distance and if you click inside radius will reduce in this way you can use offset command to create concentric circles press enter then if you want to cut some object for that trim command is used keyboard shortcut for trim is tr enter suppose we will create some reference object suppose i want to trim these three circles above this line then you can use the trim command click on trim then select cutting edges at first you will have to select the cutting edges that is reference edges suppose i want to cut above this line therefore this line will be our reference edge enter then select object to trim i want to trim these three circles click on it those three circles will be trim and to stop the trim command press enter you can give the reference edges as many as you want suppose i want to cut this object between these two object then give the trim command and select the object then press enter then select the object to be cut and press enter this is the one method other method is give the trim command here is one default option is select all the meaning of this select all is all the object will be selected as cutting edges to activate this select all you just have to press enter and you don't need to select any cutting edges press enter all object will be defined as a cutting edge in this case you can trim directly the object not required by you and if you want to extend some object then for that you will have to press shift here you can view that shift select to extend press shift if you want to extend the object by pressing the shift you can extend the object and if you release the shift it will again act as a trim command in this way you can use trim as a extend and trim also then press enter then if you want to check some parameters suppose i want to check the length of this line then for that click here and select measure distance then give the two points select first point select second point click outside now here it is showing me the actual length of this line plus it is showing me the length on x axis and length on y axis and it is also showing the angle from x axis 
and if you want to check radius or diameter of some circle click on this radius then select the circle it will show both the radius and diameter of that particular circle same way you can check the angle between two object click on angle select the two object suppose i want the angle between this line and this line so it is showing the angle between two lines and if you want to check the area of, of some shape click on this area then define the points for the area suppose i want to check area from this point this point this point this point and suppose i want to include this arc if you want to include this arc then you will have to click on this arc then from here you will have to choose the suitable option now for this arc we know the center point so we will take the center option give the center point and give the end point of the arc make ortho of and give this end point then press enter it will show the area of that particular shape area and perimeter both will be indicated and if, suppose if you have some circular object and if you want to calculate the area of that circle then for that at first we will create one circle and i want the area of this circle and click here then click on this arrow you can also select the individual commands from here i want to calculate the area then to calculate the area of circle click on object option then select the circle it will show the area and circumference for the circle then exit then if you want to zoom or pan to make particular portion larger you will have to keep this plus cursor in that area and rotate your middle mouse button towards the monitor it will zoom plus and if you rotate the middle mouse button towards the user it will zoom minus and if you press the middle mouse button and drag the mouse it will pan it and if you double click on the middle mouse button it will zoom extend in this way you can zoom plus zoom minus pan and zoom extend from the mouse and if you want to view the particular area by defining the window then for that you will have to click here and from here you will have to select zoom window then define the first point define the second point that much area will be zoomed as per your window selection and in the first lecture we have learned the zoom all command the zoom all command also you can give from here click here and select zoom all it will reset the limit and it will show all the objects then if you want to give the pen command you can give pen command from here click on it then press the first mouse button and drag it and if you want extra option just right click you can switch to zoom also zoom press first mouse button and drag it again right click zoom window is also there press the first mouse button and release it right click and exit that's all thanks for watching we will stop here